Hey guys, it's me, Bang Tidy here. I mean, fuck's sake. It, hi guys, it's me, Tidy Beats here, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set like, your height in like Beat Saber in VR in general, to be honest. I'm going to start with Steam, and then I'm going to go to Oculus. But Steam, I'm not 100% sure on how to use, but I'll do my best to explain it. Oculus, I use all the time. Uh, PlayStation VR, I have used, and I do have one. I won't be recording gameplay, but... Honestly, it's the same basic setup. I'll go through with uh, PlayStation VR in this tutorial, but I'll use my PC Oculus version instead. It's very simple on how to do it, and let's get started. So, Steam VR. What I'd suggest to do to follow this tutorial exactly: open up your Steam, click on the VR button, and then you'll get this pop up. I would start. I'll do room setup. That's what I would start with if I was you. Let's wait for it to load. Here we go. Um, just for a basic, if you're just using it for Beat Saber like I normally do, I use it for other games, but I always set it up for just Beat Saber. I do standing only basically. And what you would do is where you where you're gonna be standing is put your headset. So I'm just going to do that now. That's, I think that's that bit done. So now you can just press next. Height, right, I'm about five, six, five, six. So if I'm just going to, if I open up a web browser, Go to Google. Go to Google. Sorry, I was looking at uh, and just type in. Cause I know I'm f five foot six. I do inch. Uh, I would type in five. Uh, five foot six in centimeters, say, and it'll come up with like this formula sort of thing. And then you've got your centimeters, so don't worry about the point sixty-four. I'll just do it as say a hundred and hundred and sixty-seven five foot. Okay, that's five five. One was that? Wait, let me. Okay, five five, five six. About hundred and seventy. All right. So then what you do is you just type in a hundred and seventy in here. One sec. And then just calibrate floor. Make sure it's all sat down and stuff. Go next. All set up. That's all done. And that should work now. If we go into Beat Saber, that should all work. That's how you set it up on here. If you're not using Steam VR like I don't, because it's a bastard to when I record, because it has to load up Steam VR and Oculus. If I just go into Oculus, load up Beat Saber. I do also have the Oculus mirror window open as well. So I can easily just do this for you guys so you can see. I can easily just do this so you guys can see it sort of thing. When Oculus wants to load. There we go. Sort of thing. So you can see that window. So let me just override Beat Saber. That's that window. Just so you can see. So when I go into like this screen, you can see sort of thing. See? Uh, I'll need that in a minute. All you gotta do here is I'm gonna put the headset on and change my mic over to my Oculus Rift mic. So I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> right, so this to this will work on the beta and not the beta. I'm sat down at the minute. Only wants to load. There we go. So if I just, I'm going to reset, right, so I stand where I want to stand. There we go. 
and then you just want to press reset view. You might have to press reset view every time you load the game up, but that's how I do it because it's a bastard to reset up. Then just go to settings even. And then you want... So you got offset. On here it's a bastard because you don't know where to stick it. On PlayStation it's a bit easier, but if I go to player settings, height, not so if I crouch down, should just set it, see? So if I set 1.1, .1, this is going to be very, I'm going to be low down, if I'm right. Actually, no, I'm actually very high up because I'm because I've set it to a low. I'm higher, so I'd have to be like down there, sort of thing. But if that doesn't work and you want to manually do it, what I would just say, what I would recommend doing is just fiddle around with this. Like, you can move it, you can move, like, if you need to turn yourself around, sort of thing, rotation, so it moves it around, sort of thing. And just press OK, and that's how you do it on there. With PlayStation VR, um, all you gotta do is, I think it's under settings or player settings, one of the two. You won't have all this here. All you'll have is room adjust, and then it'd be like a, a button with like height, like it's in centimeters here. You just go up or down. All you want to do is set that to say. What did I say? 170, 168. Do it as close to damn it as that on PlayStation. Then you want to put these like that in front of you. And then you want your controllers, your uh, touch controllers. Move, no, move. Yeah, you move controllers. Hold down your side buttons to recenter it. And that should be it. That should work for you guys. If not, you just might not, you might need to go to your PlayStation settings. Why your VR's plugged in and go down to devices. Uh, PlayStation VR should then appear, and then you could just go calibrate, uh, calibrate light tracking. I think it is. Just go through and do that with everything, and just redo all this setup. That's how that should work, guys. I hope this has been good for you, and this is just a quick tutorial. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Actually. I might even stream today, so look out for that. Let me know. Let me let me know down below if you guys want like cust like like this sort of stuff again, or if you want a load of custom songs. Because I'll happily do custom. I'll just put, I'll revert back to the other one. Um, let me know, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.